Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. As the title suggests in this video, we are going to be comparing these two scan tools. One is the X-Tool D8, and this is the X-Tool D9 Pro Kit. Uh, two fantastic tools by X-Tool, actually. Um, there are a lot of tools on the market that will say they will do certain things, and when you get them, they won't do it. Um, I find that X-Tool are one of those companies that if they say they're gonna do something, and, and they say a tool will do something, then 99.9% uh, .9 percent of the time it will deliver so I've been really really impressed with the X-Tool um, systems so far. Um, I will say that if you are interested in picking up any of these tools uh, use the links in the description below this video there are fakes there are clones on the market they can damage your vehicle and it's really not worth going down that route you may as well go with the genuine tool that way it's going to work exactly as it's described to work okay um, so the links that I put in below they are Amazon links but be aware there are fakes on Amazon there are clones on Amazon so the links that you'll see in the description will take you to the genuine and official tools on Amazon okay Okay. Now when it comes to the price of these tools, prices can change depending on the markets, the exchange rates, things like that. But right now the D D8, the X-Tool D8 at the top here, this is currently £659 or on Amazon USA it's $699. Uh, the X-Tool D9 Pro Kit is £1,499. Uh, on, on USA it's $1,699. Okay, But like I say, those prices can fluctuate depending on when you're looking at the, uh, the the listing. So who are these tools aimed at? I would say both of them have the ability to be um, aimed at people right across the board. So you've got your guys who just have one car and they want to just make sure that their car is always maintained well but they have a quite an okay budget. Uh, so both of these tools will do that. And then at the other end of the scale you've got guys who have their own garages, workshops and they're getting a lot of different cars in from time to time um, so you're not really sure about what you'll be working on from day to day. Um, I would say generally both of those tools will suit everything in between that scale um, but this tool does just do that a little bit more it does cost a little bit more and we'll come to what extra functions it will have over this tool in uh, in a moment but I would say they can be both aimed at anybody from one DIYer to a guy who has three or four cars to a guy who has a fleet of cars for work or family uh, to the garages and the workshops all right um, they're both sort of like hard cased units if you drop one of these on the floor this it's not going to break it's not going to smash or anything like that they're very durable they're meant to be they're built to be in a workshop environment so don't worry about that um, when we come to the manufacturer coverage well, we'll have a look at both of these tools touch screen obviously so you've got your European manufacturers they should be exactly the same to be honest with you so those are your Europeans and those are your Europeans I hope you can see on the video uh, we go to Asia on both of them so those are the Asians uh, we go to the Americas yeah all the same and then China looks like there's a little bit of a difference here maybe a few more on the D9 Pro and then Australia we got the same there okay um, We'll go back to the Europe so when it comes to the system coverage uh, you can assume that it will cover all systems within these vehicles so you know obviously it's going to do all your airbags your engines your ABS transmissions um, it will do all of those any system that is in any vehicle both of these tools will cover it um, when it comes to is the tool wireless or not um, this tool here the tool on top this is the D Eight. This isn't wireless. You can see we've got a cable going into the top there, and you can. It's not plugged into the vehicle at the minute, but that's the other end of the cable. So that would plug into the OBD2 port of the vehicle. Okay. When it comes to this tool, this tool is wireless. Um, what you do need, though, is this comes in the box. It's like a control box, um, and this is like your Bluetooth package. So you, you can see one end of the cable is here, the other end of the cable is going into the diagnostic port underneath there, and then that allows you to basically walk around your workshop or just use this tool in a wireless manner. You don't have to be sitting in the vehicle as we are right now. You can be walking around the vehicle um, or anywhere you need to be. So. That may be one of the benefits of using the uh, the D9. 
but it's entirely up to you whatever your personal preference is. Um, when it comes to special functions, alright, so I've got a bit of a sheet here to show you. Uh, this tool will cover about 38 special functions and we go to the special function tab. This tool covers about 42. So you can see everything that it's, I'll scroll down as well, but you know, it does everything, all of the main service functions like oil reset, throttles, electronic park and brake, steering angle sensor, key programming, instrument cluster, gearbox matching, new battery registration, injector coding, DPF, gear learning, TPMS reset, power balance, change language, transport mode, add blue reset, that's where that changes. Uh, you can see, we've got a few more here. I'm just going to scroll through, I don't need to go through them all. So you can see that this tool here does more than that. And I do have this kind of sheet. Um, and what I'm going to do is, it's quite difficult for me to show you, I don't have anywhere I can link this to either. Um, the D8 is on the left hand side, the D9 Pro is on the right hand side. But if we go through the list, just you pause this video if you want to. I do apologise for this amateurish piece of paper. But you can see the D9 does ECU coding and programming where the D8 doesn't. And then we look at the special functions. So if we, it starts with the oil, oil light reset and you can see they both say Y for yes. So all of these functions are covered by both of them. Alright, so like I say, pause the video if you need to. But as we come to the bottom of this list, starting at the speed limit, you can see where the D8 does not cover any of the following service functions, whereas the D9 Pro does. So you've got like your AdBlue reset, EGR relearn, it does uh, NOx sensors, NOx resets, uh, VGT relearn, and a lot of other service functions. Uh, one thing to note is that they will both do mileage correction as well to a certain extent. If you go into the um, instrument cluster, like it doesn't do all vehicles, and I'm going to do a separate video on this. This one is plugged into the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on this as to which vehicles it will and won't cover. Um, it's just very tricky because there are thousands and thousands of vehicles and don't buy this tool assuming that it will cover mileage on all of the all of all vehicles basically because it won't like it might do certain Land Rovers it might do certain uh, Mercedes it might do certain Citroen it might do certain Fords it's just not like a like say for example we're in a 2016 Audi A6 here so if I click on Audi Audi A6 there we go it'll only do 99 to 2003 or before September 99 so it's it's a very sh small range of vehicles that it will cover um, but that being said it does cover some so if that is what you're looking for then by all means contact the um, contact the manufacturer and they will get back to you so um, they both do bi-directional um, actuation test and component testing where you can test the motor on something to see if it's a switch that's not working or the motor that's not working they both do live data you'll get waveform data you know you can do all different types of live data I'll just show you this as an example um, automatic detect the vehicle okay so if we just go to full system diagnosis if we go to the engine Actually, there is a really good fixture, and, and these both of these tools will do both of this, by the way. Um, but if we go to live data, if we go to the default data, so this is just, just going to give you an example of the types of live data that you can get. Uh, I'm not going to sort of go into this in too much detail, but there is a function on here which gives you the genuine mileage of a vehicle. So. Uh, sometimes there are vehicles whereby the uh, the mileage on the cluster of the vehicle has been changed. Well, this tells you what the mileage of the vehicle is as per the ECU. So, most mileage correction tools won't change the mileage of the ECU. They'll only change the mileage of the cluster. Well, this will give you a reference point. Um, we need to go a bit further down. 
So it gives you an idea as to whether the mileage, the vehicle has been clocked or not. The two should match up, the mileage on the ECU versus the mileage on the, um, the, the cluster. Um, now we've got vehicle distance driven here, so it's got 153,325 kilometers. And this vehicle actually has, I'm not sure if you can see that there, but it says 95,270, but that's in miles. So when you convert the miles to kilometers, it is that amount, okay? So that's just a little, a little tip for you. Um, and, and you know, I could go on, this list goes on and on and on. I think there's about five or 600 different types of live data. Both of these tools will do that for you, as, as I say though. Um, okay, what about uh, updates and costs of the units? Well. The, uh, well, we've already talked about the cost of the unit, but the updates are a different matter. So the updates, uh, they are free for three years. So you get three years worth of free updates, okay? After that, you, there is a, a yearly charge for the updates, okay? So for the D8, you will pay 100, it's about 159 pounds per year. That's about $175. For the D9, because it's more advanced and you know it's generally going to be probably seen in like a, a high-end workshop or garage, this is about £350 per year. That's about $399, $400 per year for the updates. But as I say, you get three years free updates, okay? Um, if you need help and support, then you need to go through, there is a, a, a remote control and a report tab, so you can uh, raise any faults or any problems with the X-Tool engineers and they will come to you directly, which is a really good facility. Um, you can print faults as well, you can create um, reports on certain faults, things like that. Um, it's quite easy to do. You can do, what you need to do is you would create a report and then it would, you would email it to an email address so the report goes that way. Um, when it comes to the screen sizes then the this one has a was it an 8 inch screen this one has a 9.7 inch screen they both have internal batteries okay so you can see this one is 21% battery and this one is 37% battery. I'm not entirely sure actually if they charge while they're in the vehicle I don't think it, it does well this one it couldn't because it can't charge wirelessly this one might be able to charge via the cable when it's plugged into the vehicle because obviously there is power coming from the OBD2 port so uh, but I'm not entirely sure I'll, I'll double check on that uh, when it goes to languages there are so many different languages you can go through on this screen um, if we go to both of them here so see all of the languages that you can change you can change all of the Unix from Imperial to US to metric and you can do that on all of these um, and that seems to be sort of it. Um, you know, it covers all all vehicles, all manufacturers. It covers most service functions that any DIYer will be looking to to do. Any garage or workshop, any things that they need to do. You know, they will be on the D9 Pro tool. So, which of these tools would I choose if it was my personal money? Well. It's it's very hard to say because you know my circumstances are going to be very different to you guys your in you know, your specific circumstances. You might be watching this and you might have a fleet of cars or a garage. If what I would say is if you have a lot of cars to work on daily, uh, you don't know what you're going to be getting in from day to day, and you just need all of the functions that would be available to like the main dealers in your garage. Then I would say go for the D9 Pro Kit. This tool. And I promise you this, uh, but don't hunt me down if I'm wrong, but I, I, I really do think that this tool will not let you down at all. It'll cover everything that you need to, it will always be there for you, it'll always have everything you need. If you are an individual and you maybe have one or two or three cars, you're an enthusiast, or you just want to look after your own cars, or maybe you have like a, you know, a small garage that you only work on like BMWs or you only work on Porsches or something like that, uh, then there's no reason why this one here wouldn't be uh, suitable for your needs. It all really depends on your specific circumstances. But like I say, have a look at this list in greater detail. Pause the video if you want. I will just scroll through it. So it gives you a quick idea and you can pause the video whenever you need to. I'm really sorry about the amateurish sheet of paper, but I don't have any, anywhere where I could sort of um, post that information online. Well, I probably could, but it would just, I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, that's um, that's my laziness, but you know the information is there if you need it. Anyway, like I say, the links are in the description below this video. 
and uh, that's about it if you want the genuine and official tool please do use those links fakes and clones do exist it's not worth going down that route okay great stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video